Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Aloha. Welcome to Think Tech Hawaii with Jay Fidel, Understanding China. My name is Xiaofang Zhou, I'm your host for today, China Through American Chinese Eye. And our guest today is Barina Pong. She is a successful businesswoman, a community leader, and she is the president of Hong Kong Business Association of Hawaii. Our, um, for the last past years, Barina Pong has been leading business group from Hawaii to China. And she has seen a different China, a growing China, and a changing China. So welcome to Think Tech Hawaii. Thank you for having me, Xiaofang. On our past uh, um, episode, we talked about China dream and the one road, one belt. China through government, um, uh, China dream is focused on its infrastructure um, through government and the private funding also known as the public-private partner um, PPP projects mm -hmm. for new bridges and new roads and so on, uh, even new cities like Xiong'an. So the, um, the road and belt is continue to, uh, uh, is a silk, continuing of a silk road to reconnecting China to the world. And uh, you know, such as uh, uh, connecting China through the world uh, railway uh, railway station and uh, the new ports. Mm -hmm. So, in your view, how this growing China will impact America and to the world? Hmm. It's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, um, I think this one bell one row is a very good idea for Chinese to implement. Um, since I believe it is started 2012, um, mm -hmm. already have that thought. Right. Uh, now is an implementation period, of mm -hmm. course we know that. Um, a lot of people told me that America is not part of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. because of when the old America, only 200 some years, yes. you know, history, right. and the world is more than that. So at that time, Chinese do business uh, trade is through the the road, uh, railway or mm -hmm. the waterway. Right. So that's why right now uh, Chinese in, want to do this one belt one road is go through the old olden way. So, right. Yes. <laughs> so, um, but however, I I was think America is an exceptional nation um, for the many many years in a. So they have a lot of things that everybody can learn. Right. Uh, so I think they can play a very big role in it too, if they want to, mm -hmm. if they think that they wanted to um, accept this is a world-connected mm -hmm. uh, economic growth. Mm -hmm. that, that's in my personal will. Yeah. And especially if you look at the, the map of One Belt, One Row, they basically is go through all this, maybe you will say third world country. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it still need to be developed. Develop. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. it is a good way to do that to okay. make the the world is a little bit more equal mm -hmm. in the economic environment. Mm -hmm. um, that's I, I think is a is a good idea. Very good uh, policy mm -hmm. that China tried to implement. Um, on this, yeah. So while well, the uh, China building the bridges and the railways is the same time as helping other country to grow as well. Yes, uh, China itself uh, building their big bridges, big road, and big tunnel and and railway uh, because of um, you know after World War Two and China still is a very very um, close close country mm -hmm. and a lot of thing is not rebuilt. Yeah, and and yeah. there's no outside technology that comes in to mm -hmm. help. But now China uh, opened since the 80s. Yes. <laughs> so I think that after they opened and they slowly, they wanted to build 
the modern China. Yeah. So therefore, you saw a lot of bigger uh, railroad, bigger bridges, bigger, um, mm -hmm. you know, everything public road. Yeah, yeah, everything is big or, right. or airport. So <laughs> I think yeah. that uh, uh, why America cannot do it, it's not American, it's not good enough. Mm -hmm. American is a mature country already sure. in, in that sense. Developed and country. They already have that in right. place. It's a very difficult for them uh, to tear down everything and to right. rebuild it. Right. So uh, probably slowly they will do that, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I was uh, traveling in the East Coast last summer, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, I really like, you know, in New York, I mm -hmm. still see the building, the right. older... Right, uh, the subway. Buildings, <laughs> yeah, the subway. <laughs> and uh, in China, which is, of course, there's a new China, it's a fascinating right. new building, new mm -hmm, bridges. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I miss all the, you know, the uh, four courtyard and right, the right, old right. building, they're right. all gone. Mm. So in a way, uh, I think China also pay prices. For, right, for yeah, the, I agree. I know that you're very um, into um, the yin yang. Yin yang. <laughs> right, right. So we're so going to talk about, about the next. That. So, you know, we all may uh, know about China yin yang symbol. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a, mm -hmm. it's a full circle. Mm -hmm. And to me, East represent the yin mm -hmm. or yang, mm -hmm. and the West represent yin or yang. Mm -hmm. And together, we're, you know, because the difference shape mm -hmm. and the shade mm -hmm. to pull as a full circle. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, China, like say, yuan meng, uh, which means round dream, like a China dream. Mm -hmm. uh, round dream is also meaning the circle of a fulfillment. I see. Yeah. Um, so, as a whole, you know, there's so much we can um, learn from each we other. can learn from each other, and there's so much we can offer one another. Right. So, what uh, what do you think the most important that America learn can learn from China, and vice versa, that China can learn from America? Hmm. Okay. Uh, this is also my personal view. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I think that America uh, can learn from China is um, Chinese people, they are they're hardworking people, mm -hmm. you know, they are mm -hmm. resilient um, in a way, no matter how hard, they will overcome that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a Chinese uh, character. In our blood. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I, I think that uh, in that sense, they took them 50 years to, to to today's, uh, they're in a world stage, right? Mm -hmm. um, there's nothing anybody can do about it because they they are from a very poor um, country. Now they are really the second largest economic uh, power country in the world. Yeah. yeah. So um, on the other hand, uh, I'm a U.S. citizen, as you know, and mm -hmm. and uh, U.S. is an exceptional nation all this year, all this year, still today. However, uh, it really depends uh, how our policy evolve in the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if our policy towards uh, economic or, or um, foreign policy, uh, whether it will change dramatically mm -hmm. or you know slowly change it or yeah. so slowly adopt it, the change in the world environment that play a big part of it mm -hmm. to me. Um, but I think that. Chinese can definitely can learn from America a lot of things, including uh, technology, mm, yeah. uh, uh, consultation environment. I mean, consultancy. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. America actually have a lot of good things, um, and their the policy, the 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 government uh, towards business policy. I think. Uh, to me, is mm. is is better than a lot of in the east, east side, the yeah, Asia side, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not necessarily just China. I mean, right. in general, in the eastern country, mm -hmm. uh, because they are more open, they are more um, uh, entrepreneurial mm -hmm. uh, spirit. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. but on the other hand, Chinese uh, uh, company, uh, a lot of them, as you know. Uh, they have and have a lot of them to, to partner with Chinese government, mm -hmm. so a lot of restriction. Mm -hmm. So, right, still a lot of restriction. Uh, I, I hope that uh, China will, you know, slowly to, to lay back on that, so the let the entrepreneurs 
to yeah. take over all this business. I mean, I only want to talk business because right. <laughs> we are business organization. So. Well, you've been traveling, traveling uh, throughout the year. Right, you know, yeah. Uh, bringing From time light. to time, yeah. yes. yes. Uh, mm -hmm. So do you, have you met a lot of people that the investors, uh, they, are, they are investing in the U.S.? Uh, yes, there's a lot of uh, people, if they're looking for a stable investment, mm -hmm. um, you know, because of America still is the mm -hmm. stable environment for them to to yeah. invest. Mm -hmm. For China, if you're looking for a short-term short -term gain, <laughs> <laughs> three years you can get back your investment, <laughs> so that will be China. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so but long-term, it really depends on um, the policy that you know the, right. the the country's policy that you and I will not or know until then or, or we will see it or we may not even able to see it yeah, yeah so this is really depends on uh, I, I hope there's a lot of young leaders come mm -hmm. out from China and, mm -hmm. as well as US yeah. so they will have a little bit more harmony um, you know to 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 do all this uh, in okay. this world, the world stage, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna take a br uh, break. Aloha. We have this crazy thing going on today. I was just walking by and all these DJs and producers are set up all around the city. I just walked by and I said, what's happening guys? And they told me they were making music. So we do it. Welcome back. And uh, you are at the show, Understanding China. And my name is Xiao Fang Zhou with Barina Pong. So you've been traveling and, and uh, meeting a lot of a government official and as well as a business people. And uh, I also been living there for a year and a half since 2016, and I met a lot of people as well. What do you feel the Chinese investors, when they come to China, uh, to the U.S., and they want to invest in hotel or uh, entertainment uh, uh, or golf course, you know, what they, what they should uh, uh, really uh, focused on in the U.S. like a culture because there's a cultural difference mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of misunderstanding because right. whether you like it or not Chinese are moving in right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they will become our neighbors and mm -hmm, they will become mm -hmm. our uh, maybe boss future mm -hmm, boss mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so how American um, you know Chinese this is a crossing country and then you know China was uh, in a third world country it was still people thinking Chinese has a you know, men still have a long hair, the the braid, the xiao bian, xiao mm, bian. Mm -hmm. So how can we really um, embrace that so much of the cultural differences right. and uh, also making the investors welcomed? Mm -hmm. And they're here, it's not just, a, you know, making money, but they're here also to helping the uh, local society to grow. Right. Um, I, I think because China right now produce a lot of new um, richest men yeah. <laughs> in the world. Yeah. And these businessmen, they wanted to find a way to invest their money. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, America is one, one of the country they're looking into it. Um, however, uh, uh, U.S. have a lot of regulations and mm -hmm. a lot of tax. Uh, right. You come with it mm -hmm. if you invest in U.S. So, um, and Chinese doesn't like it or doesn't right. used to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, I, I guess that I wanted to uh, see 
um, Chinese will understand a little bit more about those before they right. they really enter into you know U.S. Mm -hmm. Not they are uh, step the door here and then they will complain. You know mm -hmm. a lot of you know uh, not perfect thing for them. Uh, it really depends on their goal when they invest it is a long term goal or short term mm -hmm. gain. Um, right. Uh, and and I think the United States, on the other hand, uh, you know, because the United States is is um, praised for entrepreneurship, is a free trade, you know, all these years since the founding father. So I, I think you know, that's like you said, nothing you can do about it because they have the money they want to be invest here. Mm -hmm. uh, as, as well as the other country in the world. Mm -hmm. And we just have to um, have those regulations that's still in place mm -hmm. as far as they still paying their taxes, they still doing the right thing, you know, compliance. So I think that, you know, we can live with each other. Right. But um, the reason why um, right now we have a, a little tension, I guess, is a lot of Americans felt that maybe we are a little threatened by those money mm -hmm. coming from outside, mm -hmm. but I, I I don't see it that way. I see it uh, every money comes in will gain the job mm -hmm. yeah. opportunities. Yeah, I I see that way better than all this real estate will be fell mm -hmm. um, thirty fifty percent, right. <laughs> and then there's no job opportunity mm -hmm. because of everybody cannot make money. Um, I, I would say that uh, the same way like if the U.S. Uh, entrepreneur should want to invest in China, the same way I hope, I mm -hmm. personally hope the Chinese also open to welcome them, you know, and, and, yeah. and, and um, maybe um, less more uh, the Chinese uh, uh, regulation that they normally have uh, because they, they have a lot of control. For example, they don't want certain thing, they don't want a foreigner to own it. Right. The same, right? right? So mm -hmm. uh, I, I think that's the both sides. Yeah, yeah, different policy. And, right, right. Yeah. And, and learning to each other, their culture is a right. very, very critical role. I think that the Chinese culture and the Western culture is so different, and they mm. they adore different things. Right. <laughs> so right. well, that make your job very important. Yes, uh, when we, you go we to are, China, we we you really promote them to, the, yeah, yeah a facility, about the, not the, just reach. regulation, but cultural right. sensitive. So I, I think that's yeah. why Hong Kong play a very significant role in yeah. this, yeah. because Hong Kong uh, is a Chinese majority resident live in Hong Kong uh, mm -hmm. as a city, mm -hmm. uh, as a freest city <laughs> in the world. Yeah. And at the same time, and Hong Kong all this time is have as a Western um, culture yeah. and Chinese culture combined. Right. So right. I think that's... So you way. have a definitely better understanding yes, both yeah, sides. Yes. So yeah. I think that they have a lot of good, uh, very resilient uh, professional there that you can uh, rely on. <laughs> right. Well, uh, talking about Hong Kong, you're a native born, right? Yes. And uh, Hong Kong is uh, really fascinating, as mm -hmm. I remembered in my childhood. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, now China is a bustling, restless and giant. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you hope to see changing China? Uh, I, I kind of like the, the, the theme, you know, the city, more city. Mm -hmm. And and the village more village, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I hope China will be that way. Yeah, you know, yeah. like Shanghai is really similar. Shanghai and 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 uh, Shenzhen mm -hmm. is really similar to Hong Kong right now, right? right? That's right, a right. very city, mm -hmm. uh, vibrant city. Yeah. But uh, China is so big, and there's mm -hmm. certain province is is very village, yes. like a countryside. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So I hope they they will balance that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lots of actually, uh, uh, I've been traveling in southern of China, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And uh, each city has their own um, food and mm -hmm. cultural. Mm -hmm. So the government, the provincial or the district government, they're building small cities. Mm -hmm. And there's a, like the old time coming back today, and there's a lot of attraction for tourism. Right. Uh, so it's a really boot, uh, boot up their economic uh, I, I like I like to visit China. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah. China is a fascinating you know uh, tourist place. I, I guess know. there's a lot of history there, so I I hope that uh, you know U.S. Um, residents, um, mm -hmm. including Hawaii residents, will you know take you know, put it on their list. <laughs> so really, go to see through your own eye. Yes, you know the change Absolutely. of China. Absolutely. There's the old and the new. Absolutely. But the the the, um, the content, you know, the the old soul, the old, even though you see a, a fast train, but there's people you can mm -hmm. still see the ancient right. China, right? And right. that's really I feel is precious, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. for people to mm -hmm. actually go visit and right. you know just learn and. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I do hope that uh, Chinese also, on the other hand, uh, would uh, accept or learn a little bit more about the Western culture. Mm -hmm. For example, a lot of uh, not a very good behavior, um, like spitting, you know, that right. kind of thing. Right. I hope that uh, the new generation will be, you know, mm -hmm. improve and not doing anymore because that's not uh, good. For, mm -hmm. for the environment. <laughs> right, of course. Yeah. So there's uh, still uh, challenges, you know. Yes. Chi yes China yes. is a big country. Right, and, I know. Uh, but, but, you know, now they're doing very good. Uh, you, if you think about 80 to now, they, they, they did very good already, you know. It's yeah. considered they are so big. And what do you, what is your advice for American? Oh, you I know, go I to cannot China do advice. to. Um, if they want to go to just China for for a week or oh. what, what you're you know you always a uh, okay um, yes uh, it really depends on the individual what they really want to look if they mm -hmm. only wanted to be a, 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 a sightseeing a concept of China sure. they they can they can just have a couple of days in Beijing Shanghai and mm -hmm. then a couple of days in the you know uh, maybe. Uh, Sichuan province, you know, mm -hmm. uh, those uh, countryside mm -hmm. that, or the older China side, yeah. so they can see both. Yeah, yeah, so they can really pretty much is is country, yeah. you know. Uh, but if they are only focus on business, of course you have to go to the city, right? Right. Yeah. So uh, I, I myself, um, if I take uh, go along with my members, our mm -hmm. members, so right. the, so. We always focus on the city, right? <laughs> because right. we For are, business. Right? Yeah, we we want to see how. But you, you know. do tours too. Right? Yeah, yes, to yes. Pandas, I, I remember that uh, 2013. I went to China yeah. with a group of Hawaii um, uh, Chinese uh, uh, community leaders, yeah. and and we we went to Shanghai, Beijing, and also Sichuan and Zhengjia. Uh, Zhengjia Jie. Yes. Right. Yeah. So there's a lot, and then Guangdong, Guangdong uh, yeah. uh, so, and then back to Hong Kong. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of places that you can visit, so you, you were never, never tired of it, yeah. <laughs> because it's so big. One last question. Do you feel you are Hong Kong mm -hmm. Chinese, mm -hmm. and there's a million Chinese. Mm -hmm. They were so different. Yeah. They're a different world, different right. mentality, right. even different culture. Right. Although they are Chinese, right? Do you feel as a kind of a comp competition between Hong Kong and the no, China? No, no. Uh, I, I think that if you talk about competition, everywhere is competition. Yeah, yeah. Even in America, right? right? So, I, I think that you always find someone very exceptional, mm -hmm. like you. <laughs> <laughs> what you do is very exceptional. So, I, I, I think that it really depends on. What your um, uh, mission? What's your life mm -hmm. mission? What's your goal? Uh, what you want to achieve in your life? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't feel this is a competition at all. I mean, China have so many engineering graduate every year. Yeah. So compare with uh, U.S., you know, I think it's like this. But do you think is a is a threat? No. It depends on your. What's your goal? Right. You know, so you can do. Uh, uh, maybe I'm a 
entrepreneurship spirit mm -hmm. thinking. <laughs> That's a very good thought. You know, you just focus in business. You focus on what mm -hmm. you are. What you want. Yeah, yeah what yeah, you yeah, want. In, in Instead in of, uh, yeah. you know, yeah. judging where, where it is from. Right, right, yeah. right. So I think that, that we will live in a harmony. Good. If yeah. you do that. Yeah. Yeah. Coexistence. Yes, right. yes, yes. Well, it's going to be a Chinese New Year. Yes. And what do you want to say to the people from Gongxi Fa Cai? Yeah. In Chinese Mandarin, it's Gongxi Fa Cai. And uh, you're, there's an event, special event uh, happening? Well, uh, yeah, unfortunately, Hawaii now, we, we just lost the parade this Saturday. But oh. however, Hong Kong Association will have an event. But okay. it, uh, we will be in after the Chinese New Year in the Chun Chun Zi. Chun uh, Chun Spring Festival. Uh, Spring Festival uh, is uh, going to be March 11. Oh, March So 11th. I want to invite you. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, but I won't be. I won't be here. Oh, I'll be in China. Back to uh, China. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, thank you for joining us. Oh, and, you're welcome. Uh, Always welcome. Yeah. And uh, um, aloha, everyone, and thank you again all to join us at Think Tech Hawaii with Jay Fadel, Understanding China. And my name is Xiao Fang Zhou, your host. Aloha and happy Chinese New Year.